ladies and gentlemen, it is auction time. Going once, going twice, sold! Greetings everyone, Carrie here from RT66 Auctions. Just want to do a quick video on some auction items in an estate auction that we currently have going on. If you go to rt66auctions.com and look at the Ashkirk auction, it is an estate auction with a lot of stuff in the houses, but I wanted to go over some of the ham radio Morse code stuff that is currently in there because there is some uh, pretty cool stuff that we have listed. So let's take a quick look. These first three items that we're going to look at are actually a double lever Morse code machines. Uh, unlike the conventional Morse code where you got the one button you go doo doo doo, this one has the double lever so you can actually kind of speed send basically. First ones are pretty cool unit, you know, but the next two are actually uh, looks like Italian units that are really quite nicely constructed. So I know nowadays Morse code is not required for a ham license, you can get a no code, but there is still a fair amount of people that are really into Morse code. And if it's something you wanted to get into, getting a nice uh, double lever like one of these would definitely be a great thing if you plan on doing a lot of Morse code sending. There's also two uh, teaching units as well. So you can actually uh, learn and it'll like tutor you essentially. It's the first uh, two on this here. And then we get into uh, a Morse code uh, tuner, basically. So you could actually tune your code uh, when you're sending and receiving. And then we start getting into more of the ham radio units. Most of this stuff is actually um, portable handheld units. So this particular one right here is actually a mobile portable unit that you'd probably put in your car or whatnot. But um, this one is a 160 to six meter. I did a little bit of research on some of the specs on it, and it did look like it was actually fairly impressive. And then we've got uh, several ICOM, I-C-O-M units, uh, like more walkie-talkie style, but they are also for ham radio FM transceivers. This one right here is um, a radiosity unit, and then we come onto uh, several handheld units that are uh, for the FM transceiver. And then we get more of a kind of like a, another portable older style of an FM transceiver for your vehicle or any sort of a mobile unit you have. And then we get into the last one, which is actually the base. This is a smaller base tower and the rest of the radio antenna and a bunch of cables for a base station that you would want to set up at your home or wherever you want to set it up. So don't forget, if you want to check out the stuff and see some more pictures and details, go to rt66auctions.com where you can register to bid, look at all the stuff, and there's a bunch of other stuff in the estate besides just ham, and, ham radio and Morse code stuff, so check it out.